Hi and welcome to CardPress. On this video tutorial, I'll teach you how to use an external encoder to read a card ID and print it. To exemplify, we'll use the CardPress database card connected to our employee database. To follow this tutorial, we'll need an external reader and some contactless cards. To begin, click on the Open button. Select the card and click OK. Now we have a card connected to a database. Click on the New Text button and place the text object on the card. Like this. On the Item tab, on your right, replace the item ID by UID. Now click on the Encoder View button on the top menu. Here, on the Encode view, you'll have the Encode Operations board to where you can drag and drop your objects to perform encoding operations, as you will see. Please verify if the encoder device detected is the one you'll use. If not, please change it. On your right, on the Preview tab, we have a preview of our card layout with our new text object. All we have to do now is drag and drop our text object on the Update Card Field JavaScript code, like this. When you do that, you realize that you can drop your object anywhere on the board, but only the text that is appropriated to our operation will highlight and accept our object. Now click on the Front Card View button, like this. It's time to print our cards from database with the contactless card ID, and to do that, click on the File menu and choose Configure Print option. To test and view results without burn any card, Choose the PDF Creator Printer. Change the paper size to A7, that is the most resembled to our card size, and select Landscape Orientation. After this, just click OK. Then click on the Print button and put your configuration like this Database Selection Range from the beginning to all records to print all records that are on the database. And don't forget to check to print front card and encode operations. Finally, click OK. Then CardPress will ask you to pass the cards on the reader. Please do when applied, like this. As you see, all the cards are here. And with card ID printed on them. Our job is done. Don't forget to save your work by clicking on the Save button. On the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to write a card ID on a database field. See you on the next tutorial. Thank you for choosing Cardpresso and goodbye.